When a patient has liver cirrhosis, the damaged liver is often unable to clear toxins like ammonia from the blood completely. Increased liver pressure also shunts some blood away from the liver so it never even gets a chance to try and detoxify it. When ammonia builds up in the blood, it can cause confusion called hepatic encephalopathy. This confusion can range from mildly forgetful to comatose. If a patient comes into the hospital with confusion and you know nothing about them, checking an ammonia level could be a reasonable course of action. If it's high, this could point towards liver disease as a possible cause, and if it's normal, you can be pretty confident cirrhosis is not the cause of their confusion. But for the most part, liver doctors do not recommend checking ammonia levels in known cirrhotic patients with confusion. And we certainly don't recommend trending ammonia levels in the hospital while treating hepatic encephalopathy to monitor treatment response. It seems counterintuitive, but ammonia levels do not correlate with severity of confusion, and patients without hepatic encephalopathy can have high ammonia levels, while patients with mildly elevated ammonia levels aren't always confused. Therefore, if you have a known patient with liver disease come into the ER with symptoms consistent with hepatic encephalopathy, then the recommended course of action is simply to start treatment right away and use the improvement in their confusion as the guide for adjusting treatment. Checking ammonia in these cases is unnecessary and sometimes even misleading.